This is Minecraft. This is AI. And this is the collection of AI I'm going to use to turn this ugly, hideous game into a beautiful masterpiece of art. Oh no. The first thing we're gonna do is recreate the music. And by recreate the music, I mean have AI do it for us. So here I found an AI called soundraw.io and we're going to use all these developers' hard work to generate a stupid little song for our game. Let's see what the preset sample gives us. Funky. So it looks like we're supposed to choose our genre and style combination, and I think ambient piano would be good for Minecraft, but I'm kind of curious what acoustic and like future bass slash house will make us. This sounds like my 2012 YouTube intro, but we want calming, relaxing Minecraft music. So I'm just gonna leave all this at pretty much default. And as a reminder, this music has actually never been heard before. I am shocked how much this sounds like Minecraft music. Let's try another one. This one also sounds Minecrafty, more like a music disc, but still. So now that we have some music, we're gonna need some sound effects. Incense Soundmaker is a website that uses AI to determine what a combination of any two instruments would sound like together. So for example, if you wanted to hear what a harp mixed with a goose would sound like, there you go, music to my ears. The first sound we're gonna need is like a stepping sound for walking on like grass and stuff. And I have no idea what, the, let's try flute cow. <sighs> Beautiful. Yeah, my feet make the sound. We're gonna need a block breaking sound effect and honestly a plucky synth cat. This kind of sounds like breaking a block to me. <laughs> I'm gonna make a bunch more sound effects and then we'll get back in game and try them out. Hello, it's Misty from Three Hours in the Future. It's apparently very obnoxious to get new sounds in Minecraft, but I wouldn't be a real Minecraft YouTuber if I didn't constantly subject myself to mental anguish every video. Let's give it a go. <laughs> Listen to these animals. What is these are not, they sound like tugboats, what is happening? Let's try cutting down a tree. It sounds like I have a, a studio symphony playing for me. Now I know what you're thinking. Missy, this just looks like normal Minecraft. Nothing's different at all. That's your voice, that's what you sound like. Well, what a good question you have and boy, do I have an answer. This is crayon, but you see it's really quirky because the, the A in crayon is AI for AI because it's the AI crayon, it's, it's cool, it's funny. So how this works is we type in any prompt we want, for example, cats break dancing, and AI will try to generate nine images of what it thinks cats breakdancing will look like. Oh, that's weird. I thought I typed cats breakdancing, not demons. Oh, we don't want to put breakdancing cat in our game. We want to get a very beautiful, high resolution grass texture. I'm actually kind of impressed. This is a lot better than I expected it to be. Video game log texture. I think you mean cinnamon rolls. <gasps> tree lettuce, yes. For a second, I thought it accidentally desaturated all the tree textures, but then I realized I just don't go outside enough and I've seen more Minecraft trees than real ones. No way, I typed in PNG and and it actually made the fake PNG background. <laughs> How do you make the side of a grass block? Oh, of course, video game dirt with grass hanging from the top of the image texture. I should have thought of that the first time. This is actually really interesting. I typed in diamond ore the same way I did all the other ores, but only diamond made it an actual like Minecraft block. Oh no, what are these? Hmm, hmm, ah yes, a beautiful steed. I love him, look at him. But now that we have most of the textures done, there's still one more I wanna do. This is AI Painter, which recreates any image you give it into a new style. So if I were to upload my skin, let's see, what style do we want here? Composition? Um, Dynamism of a Cyclist. Nope, not that one. Here we go, pixely thing. Now that's a beautiful skin right there. <gasps> Wait a second, this one says Misty Mood. Now this is a Misty Mood if I've ever seen one. Let's just slide this new skin in here. And that leaves us with only one thing left to change the title. This is OpenAI's text generation playground. If I say write a story about Minecraft YouTuber Mysticat, that's me, getting in a sword fight and then hit submit, it will start generating a story about me getting in a sword fight. <laughs> Which actually, if you don't know, real life story, I have been in a sword fight. I did lose and I did break my arm. There's a little fun fact for you of metal in my left arm now. But what if we told it to write a new name for our new AI generated Minecraft? Write the name of a new video game similar 
to Minecraft. Blocky craft. <laughs> All right. We are now the creators of Blocky craft, or I guess we're not. The AI is, but still. So now we have new music, new sound effects, new textures, a new name for our game, and a new Mr. Cat skin. <laughs> oh boy. All right. It's time to test the resource pack. Also, YouTube could be sending you my videos every single day, but you could still not be subscribed. So if you could double check, I'd really appreciate it. I also have something else to say. That's right. You can get your own fabulous glow in the dark professional gamer at mysticat.store or below the video. Now let's test this resource pack. This actually doesn't look as bad as I expected it to. Look at our beautiful new Mystic Hat skin. Oh, it's so much better. Let's just take a walk around our new little world. Why are you? Yet? Wait, wait a second. What are you? Oh no. Here's a bunch of animals. Let's see what they're up to. <gasps> ah. Mr. Big. Oh, actually, no, I don't want your attention anymore. Please don't come near me. Oh no. Overall, this this actually doesn't really look that bad. It just kind of looks like a normal HD resource pack. Look at these beautiful textures and this demon outside the front of the house. But you may have noticed that I don't have the weird PNG square around all the flowers. So let me turn that on. Much better. Look at that. Oh, the grass, it's all green. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is what Minecraft should look like. What a beautiful flower forest. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I'm actually really shocked how close the grass and the dirt texture colors are considering they're two completely different textures. Like, look at how well this stone, like, tiles with itself. It lines up so well. Like, it's kind of hard to see where the squares are just by looking. Let's look around underground, see what we can find. Oh, we found some diamonds. I forgot to do the deep slate ores. I just did the normal ones, so that's why those are there. But this is what normal diamond ore looks like. Whoa, look at how cool our cylinder is. It's, like, all pixely and noisy, and, like, the stutter makes it look cool. That's pretty neat. Now, why don't you check out this video next? And don't forget to order your plushie.